What's up, everybody? So, I'm going to show love to all HBCU. I'm going to list them all down on the first segment. I just was, you know, rattling off the top of my head. But welcome, welcome, welcome to People Love Sports with Sports and Gaming is Exquisite Fusion. This is all about the Saturday shenanigans. Let's go. Okay, we got a little spot there. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. How you do it so what's up everybody so as i was saying once you get to campus going from part one sliding on into part two right here we're going to do short segments you get there on campus you get settled in and then you get to meet your hallmates and you get to meet your roommates now for me me and my girl at the time we came from the same high school so then we were automatically together so we were roommates so they kind of gave you that choice right there so that was cool so then that's why i say for me it was my hallmates in the freshman year so what's up shout out to myas hall at jcsu smith eyes all right so everybody remembers they're checking in you're meeting everybody and stuff like that and I mean, it's a lot to unpack here that I would never get to unpack in these short segments here. But since we are in the football season and everything like that, I will be doing the different story times and stuff like that for everyone as time goes on. But anyway, you get there, you meet everybody, people from different places, and right off the bat, you may be like, ooh, I really gel with this person. Like, oh, I can't really see that person. And then sometimes it might change, and sometimes it won't change. But the thing is, you're meeting people. You are becoming the uh, young adults away from your parents, okay? And if you had a leg up like I did, it still doesn't matter because you got a leg up on some things but then it's gonna still be your experience. Like, when I say leg up, like in high school, like my aunt, she's my auntie, my auntie is my auntie. We're three years and some months apart. So when I was in high school, she was in college and my parents would let me go and stay the weekend and for homecoming for at least about three years. So I already had the juxtaposition of college life but not my own but I was well aware and had a little bit of experience okay but you're still gonna have your own experience because a weekend or a week for spring break is nothing compared to you constantly and consistently being on campus on your own away from your parents okay and then that's when you have to decide some things so it's good when you meet your homies and then you meet everybody and then you meet your RA your resident advisor and I want to give a shout out to Miss Withrow because she was so cool. We had a really good RAC, okay? And then Nina, we had a really good RA on our hall. That's the resident advisor that's on your hall to make sure the girls stay intact and do what you're supposed to do because you're there for education. You're not there to be frisky frisky. Okay, darlings. But anyway, you know what I mean? It was so cool. And then you got familiar with the campus and everything like that so it just depends on the HBCU because that's what we're talking about right now the HBCU experience um you know they wanted to make sure that the parents had peace of mind when it was time for you to be locked in on the campus and um how many days that you could miss class and stuff like that so I mean it, it was just a great time and you get to make, meet people from different places and then if you got cousins there, that's a whole nother dynamic. Or if you got siblings there, that's a whole nother dynamic. And just people that you know, I mean, it's just so great, okay? And then you get in touch with what you want to do. Some people are under, indecisive, even when they get to campus, you know, about what they want to major in. Some people already got down pat what they want to major in. And then on top of that, then you get in the mode of you being the adult but of course you have those RAs and RACs there to say hey you gotta go to class and this and that and the third and then you know when lunchtime and hanging out on the block whatever your block is uh, and all of that so I mean it's just really good moments and then you got some people who are so homesick I don't think homesick befalls or bypasses anybody because even myself even though I have my girlfriend there 
and um, you know, I was pretty much an independent mother. I mean, I, look, nothing prepared you for missing your people, okay? And a lot of people were more homesick than others, but still, it was just like, uh. But you know, like one thing about me though, even out of college, I called my mom every day. There was like not a day that went by that I wouldn't call, okay? And so then you gotta look at it from a parent's perspective too, empty nesters, or even if they got some more children there, I mean, it's still that void that's kind of missing because when you walk in your room and <laughs> your room is empty, you're not there. Or, you know, when you wake up, you miss some of the conveniences and comfort, comfortability of being at home. But here you are on campus, and then some people they go right into it. They're gonna get on the band. They're gonna get on this. They're gonna get on that. Football team, football scholarships, band scholarships. I mean, just whatever. And then that's just what it is. But yeah, really good times. And so I want to give a shout out to the online presences, especially on the social media, because they have been given so much good memory lanes for all of us who are now alumni and for those who are underclassmen, for those fresh out of college and for those coming in as freshmen and those coming back as underclassmen. If I'm repeating myself, I'm so sorry. But I want to give a shout out to HBCU Pulse. I want to give a shout out to HBCU Alum. I want to give a shout out to HBCU Pride Nation. I want to give a shout out to HBCU Grad. I want to give a shout out to HBCU Buzz. I want to give a shout out to HBCU Game Day. Um, HBCU Drip, HBCU, um, more HBCU Love, HBCU Culture Shop, HBCU Fashions, HBCU Connect, HBCU Tour, HBCU Cheer, Historically Black Sense, HBCU Women's Sports, HBCU Lifestyle, HBCU Band Connect, Ox. HQ, HBCU Incorporated, HBCU Wall Street, HBCU App, HBCU Week, HBCU Culture, HBCU Sports, HBCU Dance Original, HBCU 101, HBCU Campaigns, HBCU Ox Dance Directors, HBCU Heroes, HBCU All Star Game Experience, the HBCU App. Oh my God, HBCU <laughs> Slides, HBCU Change, send them kids on my knee. Now y'all got Cash App. We had Western Union. And then if you had a bank there. Shout out to mechanics and farmers in North Carolina though. All black financial institution. You could just go ahead and get your little checking account and saving account there, boop boop. Okay, HBCU Job. Uh, HBCU Live TV, HBCU Society, and one love to the Divine Nine, because I know that y'all gonna be looking and people gonna be crossing those sands. So, what's up? All right, so, uh, anyway, let's get this number out uh, the way here. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. Did y'all hear me when I say shout out HBCU Confessions? I don't suggest anybody, yeah, yeah, just don't let them pull you in. Don't do it, don't do it. Okay, all right, so I want to give a shout out here to all the HBCUs and show our love. So here it is, everybody, and whoop whoop your school. <laughs> okay, all right, shout out to Howard University, Florida A&M, Tuskegee University, Hampton University, North Carolina Central University, Morgan State University, Clark Atlanta University, Jackson State University, Morehouse College, Spelman College, Fayetteville State University, Claflin University, Bowie State University, Delaware State University, Norfolk State University, South Carolina State University, Alabama A&M University, Fisk University, Elizabeth City State University, Johnson C. Smith University, Western Salem State University, Diller University, Alabama State University, Virginia State University, and let me see, let me see, of course, Allen University. I gotta keep looking here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't wanna forget anybody. So, let me just make sure we get them all together. But it's a, a lovely time to have that experience. It is a totally different switch. You know, you got Jackson State University, Southern University, Grambling, I don't know why they're not giving me all the all the full scopes of these things here, but um, let's see here. Okay, this is a better thing here because I want to make sure I give everybody some love. 
All right, Alabama A&M University, Alabama State University, Albany State University, Alcorn State University, Allen University, American Baptist College, University of Arkansas, Pine Bluff, Arkansas Baptist College, Barbara Scotia College, Benedict College, Bennett College, Bethune-Cookman University, Bishop State Community College, Bluefield State College, Bowie State University, Central State University, Cheney University of Pennsylvania, Claflin University, Clark Atlanta University, Clinton College, Carhoma Community College, Coppin State University, Delaware State University, Denmark Technical College, Dillard University, University of the District of Columbia, Ever Waters University, Elizabeth City State University, Fayetteville State University, Fisk University, Florida A&M University, Florida Memorial University, Fort Valley State University, Gadsden State Community College, Grambling State University, and we all know, y'all remember that Coca-Cola commercial, Grambling had the, had the bragging rights and they still got the bragging rights on that, boom boom, okay, Hopton University, Harris Stowe State University, Heinz Com Community College at Utica, Howard University, Houston, Tulliston University, Interdenominational Theological Center in Atlanta, Georgia, J.F. Drake State Technical College, Jackson State University, back up, back up, back up, girl, you're going to quick, 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 Jarvis Christian College, John C. Smith University, Kentucky State University, Knoxville College, Lane College, Langston University, Lemoyne Owen College, Lincoln University, Lincoln University of Missouri, Livingstone College, University of Maryland, Eastern Shore, Mahari Medical College. Got some friends, you know what it is. Uh, hello, Dr. Miles College, Mississippi Valley State University, Morehouse College, Morehouse School of Medicine, Morgan State University, Morris Brown College, Morris College, Norfolk State University, North Carolina a and North Carolina Central University, Oak Quinn University, Payne College, Paul Quinn College, Payne Theological Seminary, that's in Wilberforce, Ohio, Philander Smith College, Prairie View A&M University, Rust College, Savannah State University, Selma University, Shaw University, Charter College. I'm gonna give y'all y'all. I'm gonna give y'all this love. Shelton State Community College, Simmons College, South Carolina State University, Southern University of New Orleans, Southern University of Shreveport, Southern University at AM College, Southern Western Christian College, Spelman St. Augustine University, St. Phillips College, Stillman College. Okay. Talladega College, Tennessee State University, Texas College, Texas Southern University, Tugalu College, Trenholm State Technical College, Tuskegee University, University of the Virgin Islands, Virginia State University, Virginia Union University, Virginia University of Lynchburg, Voorhees College, West Virginia State University, Wilberforce University, Wiley College, Winston-Salem State University, Xavier University of Louisiana. And so there it is. Now, we have some defunct institutions, but they brought out some amazing people, okay? Avery College that was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And my goodness gracious, somebody is with the shits. <laughs> I had to say it. Got bad juju. Hold on. Let me tell you something. I'm all about the spiritual, the seer. Okay, so sometimes you may have forces, okay? It call me crazy, but it is what it is, okay? That doesn't want you to show that love, but we're going to show that love, okay, right here on HBCU. So once again, and we're alive, so again, okay? Spirit shenanigans, be gone, poof. We're not here for that. And this is an adult child, so when I said I'm not here for the shits, I meant that. All right, so now these are defunct institutions. Avery College. This was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And this was an AME Zion School from 1849 to 1873. I'm going to show my love. Bishop College in Dallas, Texas. And that was Home Mission Society from 1881 to 1988. 
and these are all private. Booker T. Washington Junior College, this was public in Pensacola, Florida from 1949 to 1965. J.P. Campbell College started in Vicksburg and then moved to Jackson, Mississippi from 1890 to 1964. This was private. This was an African Methodist Episcopal Church College. I am a proud AME and also the first family of the AME. That means that either your father or grandfather was a minister of the AME, so you were one of the first families. So there's some history for you. Carver Junior College. This was in Cocoa, Florida. I'm a Floridian, so I love that. This is a public institution from 1960 to 1963. We got to show that love, you know what I mean? Collier Blocker Junior College from Palatka, Florida. This is public from 1960 to 1964. And then Concordia College in Alabama. This was Selma, Alabama from 1922 to 2018. This was private. And this was the Lutheran Church of Missouri. Daniel Payne College in Birmingham, Alabama from 1889 to 1979. This was private. And this was another one. Woohoo! African Methodist Episcopal Church, AME. Friendship College, Rock Hill, South Carolina, 1891 to 1981. This was private and this was Baptist. What's up, Baptist? George R. Smith College in Sedalia, Missouri, 1894 to 1925. Okay, it burned down in 18, no, in 1925, April 26, after which its assets were merged into Philander Smith College. What's up, everybody? I love this. Gibbs Junior College, St. Petersburg, Florida, 1957 to 1966. This was public, and this one was essential because this was around the integration and mandated by the Brown versus Board of Education, okay, and was unnecessarily closed shortly after passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, and so they merged with St. Petersburg Junior College, which today is St. Petersburg College. Then you had Guadalupe College in Texas, and this was from 1884 to 1936. It was destroyed uh, by fire. Hampton Junior College in Ocala, Florida was from 1958 to 1966. This was public. It was one of 11 black junior colleges founded in Florida after the Brown versus Board of Education. And the decision was an attempt to show that separate but equal higher education facilities existed in Florida, but it was abruptly closed after the passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Jackson Junior College, Mariana, Florida, 1961 to 1966. It was still one of the 11 black junior colleges. Same thing that happened. Johnson Junior College, Leesburg, Florida, 1960 to 1966. One of the 11. Same thing happened closed it up. Cottrell College, Cottrell, North Carolina. This was by the AME Church from 1886 to 1975. It was private. Okay? So when people say, well, you know, I graduated from Cottrell. And they're like, what is that? Baby, that's an HBCU. But it is no longer. Okay? That's how you do it. Leland University in New Orleans, Louisiana, 1870 to 1960. This was Home Mission Society, and they closed it. Lewis College of Business in Detroit, Michigan, from 1928 to 2013. This was private, and this was founded by Lewis Business College. Lincoln Junior College in Fort Pierce, Florida, from 1960 to 1966. It was public, and it was one of the 11 black junior colleges, and it was closed in the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Mary Holmes College in West Point, Mississippi, 1892 to 2005. This was Presbyterian. Was up with Presbyterian? And that was closed in 2005. Mississippi Industrial College, Holly Springs, Mississippi, 1905 to 1982. That was private, and that was the colored Methodist Episcopal Church later called the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, okay? Morristown College in Morristown, Tennessee from 1881 to 1994. It was Methodist Episcopal, all right? And then Mount Hermon Female Seminary, Clinton, Mississippi, American Missionary Association from 1875 to 1924. This was private. And then Natchez College in Natchez, Mississippi. This was 
1885 to 1993. It was private. It was Baptist. And then Payne College in Cuthbert, Georgia was 1879 to 1912. And then it became part of Morris Brown University. Roger Williams University, Nashville, Tennessee, 1864 to 1929. American Baptist Home Mission Society. It later formed into Lemoyne Owen College. All right. Roosevelt Junior College, West Palm Beach, Florida, 1958 to 1965. And it was still a part of that one of the 11 black junior colleges. Rosenwald Junior College in Panama City, Florida, same thing, 1958 to 1966. St. Paul's College, Lawrenceville, Virginia. This was by the Episcopal Church and it closed in 2013. It was opened in 1888. And they had St. College, Lexington, Mississippi, 2006, private Church of God in Christ. Southern Christian Institute, Edwards, Mississippi, 1908, question mark, to 1954. Private, and it was Protestant. Okay, and this was um, renamed Mount Beulah by which was used as Delta Ministries, CDG, and other civil rights organizations. Then you had Shorer College, Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, 1865-1955, and this was founded by Free Will Baptist Missionary Society, and is now a part of the Harpers Ferry National Historical Park. Suwannee River Junior College, Madison, Florida, it was part of the 11 from 1955 to 1966, Volusia County Junior College, Daytona Beach, Florida, 1958 to 1965, part of that 11. And then lastly, we have Western University, Kansas, Quindaro, Kansas City, Kansas, 1865-1943, African Methodist Episcopal Church from 1865 to 1943, had the first statue of abolitionist John Brown, which is all that survives of the campus. So, we had a lot from the AME, and we have storms that is coming in. Do you see how dark it's getting and the wind is getting up? So, I'm about to get out of here, but it's going to be more talk of the HBCU experience. It's going to be more talk of making sure that we bring back some of our memories for the alumni, but it is getting dark. Those clouds are getting low and they're coming in and I got a lot more running around to do. But shout out to the HBCU. Shout out to everyone who's going for higher education. And for those of us who are alumni and matriculated to great things, let us always support these babies in all that we do. So, more to come. Let me get out of the storm. Let me get out of the storm. Peace love, everybody, and be safe. Peace everybody.